see that big Sid Vicious sign. I over sure there. did. Yes, Hello again, everybody. Lance Russell for Dave Brown. Corey Macklin is down in Mouse World, I think. Today. That's right. We're delighted to have you here because this is going to be a heck of a what a <laughs> show we've got with one dynamic match. We've got uh, a lot of good matches, one great match coming up. You're exactly day. right. Corey's visiting Florida, and we are taking a look at a new world champion right here in the USWA, the King. Jerry Lawler, the new unified world champion, regained the belt. We'll have highlights coming up. Yes, that'll be coming up in just a moment. Now, in addition to that, Jerry, not one to slouch around. He's going to put it on the line right here this very day. Absolutely right. A unified title defense on television, and that is a very, very rare match, but you're going to get to see it right here on this television program today. Also, we'll have details on a three-team battle royal for the USWA New. tag titles coming up. Yes, very unusual match. Also, PG-13 will be going against the gambler, Brickhouse Brown. Whoa. Doug Gilbert and Gorgeous George III will be teamed against uh, superstar Bill Dundee and Too Sexy Brian Christopher. And Miss Texas will be going against Sweet Georgia Brown right here. All of that included right here. Only way to get to it, start. We'll take time out. Be back with that first match in just a moment. We got uh, the big news out of the way, and that is that we have a new unified world heavyweight champion, the King Jerry Lawler, with that belt around his waist again. He went against and took it back from a tough one, Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon had won the belt from superstar Bill Dundee. The King Jerry Lawler was not happy about uh, someone from the WWF having the belt, so Lawler took it upon himself as he got the match to take the belt back. And we got it for you right now on tape. Let's take a look. Got him staggered. Legs starting to wobble on him. And Ramon grabs Lawler by the tights as he was going down and threw him right into the referee. And as he rushed into the corner to get Lawler, Sidestep, climbs up on the second rope, hammering away. Ah, oh, here comes Brian Lee. Here comes Jimmy Harris. Lee with a telephone. He's going to interfere. Interfered in one other match earlier. Lawler beats him, but he caught the telephone. Did Razor Ramon nails Lawler with it? One and two and three. that brought his attention to what happened is restarting the match. The match has been restarted. Ramon! A twist of fate as referee Bill Rush was telling Frank Morrell what happened with primetime Brian Lee and Jimmy Harris feeding the telephone to Ramon. He used the phone to knock Lawler down and out. Covered him for the count. And the referee has restarted the match. And here comes Big Sid Fisher. Razor saying, you want some of it? And 
I got to tell you, one thing you learned from that, don't turn your back on the Ooh. king, brother. You better be. <laughs> We're going to see him in action with primetime Brian Lee defending that title a little later on. But we've got other action coming up before we get to it. Coming in, one of the most popular newcomers, Scott Studd. Already uh, coming this way is Brian Lee, too. No. Look, we're going to be out here later. Who's out, Lance Russell, Dave Brown? Primetime Brian Lee finally gets a shot at the unified title. You see, I am a heavyweight champion. As you see that tank, Jerry Lawler needs help. Primetime Brian Lee needs no help. So I'll tell you what, Jerry. You better be sitting back there shining up that belt and getting it real nice and clean because it's coming home to prime time, and I guarantee you that. And I'll tell you another thing, Lance, as you see my boy here standing guard because the USWA is trying to backstab prime time Brian Lee, just like I can't even stand up here without worrying about Dave Brown sticking me in the back. And you're the same way. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to get ready for my match, and Jerry Lawler's going to be the shortest lived unified champion in the history of the USW. Well, you have the chance to prove that if you can do it. So with his uh, security guard, gorgeous Jimmy Harris, there he goes. Okay, Dave, we're ready to go to it and ready for the match. Referee Bill Rush has called for the bell. It's going to be Scott Studd against the Yellow Jacket, and we are underway. One full 10-minute time limit match. First match of a bunch of action coming up, including a unified world title at stake a little bit later on today. Primetime Brian Lee is right. He's got a shot at the title against the brand new champion, the King, Jerry Lawler. That comes up later. Right now, Scott Studd and the Yellow Jacket tie it up. Scott Studd with the side headlock. Not for long. Yellow Jacket broke out of that, but Scott Studd, great balance with the shoulder, put him on the mat coming off the ropes. Yellow Jacket tries to roll him with the arm. Scott Studd reversed him, and the Yellow Jacket's the one that hit the mat. We saw Yellow Jacket here a couple of weeks ago, made some good moves, but couldn't sustain it. He comes out today with a good block, but Scott Studd knew how to handle it. Woohoo! He handled it. That was over the top rope, but he put himself over it. Oh, yeah, but that hurts the old uh, shoulder oh, socket oh. all the way over here, the way he snapped that left arm. Stud drops in with that elbow, backs him into the corner, diagonal whip into the turnbuckle, and sails into the yellow jacket. And the sting has gone out of the yellow jacket as Scott Stud really putting it to him here early on in the match. There's a big backdrop. Stud looking good. Stud unrelenting. That's what you have to do in many wrestling matches. If you want to be successful consistently, you better keep it going. My goodness gracious, what a drop kick. Off the top rope. Not much doubt about that one. There was no way the Yellow Jacket was going to get up. I was sitting here amazed. I could hardly talk about it. Well, the way he came off the top rope with a drop kick and the victory for Scott Stud. Looking good, and I'll tell you he is. We got time out. Be back in just a moment. Match coming up right here with Sweet Georgia Brown and Miss Texas going to be headed to the ring. Already good action underway. Championship match still to come. Yes, we've got that. Plus, we've got that standby. A couple of other matches that you'll want to see. Tag matches that are really going to be interesting. Miss Texas, Sweet Georgia Brown getting ready to come out here and we'll see them tangle. No particular love loss between them. Miss Texas still trying to fight her way into... Uh, international competition as Sweet Georgia Brown makes her appearance. Looking lovely today, and here comes the rough and tumble Miss Texas with referee Bill Rush, the one that's going to have to settle this cat fight when it gets going. Oh, uh, it's not going to be easy either, being a referee between these two. These two have had some battles, and we can expect another one here today as they both climb up onto the ring apron. Miss Texas into the ring. There's Sweet Georgia Brown, one fall, 10 minute time limit match. Referee Bill Rush is going to be in shot. Oh, come hey, on. Bruno. Bruno and Karen. Out here. Man, I'll tell you, nobody wants to let us run the television show. The way show. What are you doing? Oh, you can't even run your own life, Lance. Look here. Miss Texas, I'm not finished with you. Wait, you shut up for a minute. Miss Texas, I'm, I'm not finished with you. You've been causing problems for me and for Uptown Karen for a long time now, about a month now here in the USWA. Now you come out here for a televised match in front of the whole world. You don't sign for a match with Uptown Karen? 
Hey, who's she? She's what? finished. She's history. She's oh, washed up. She can leave. What we're gonna have? This we're gonna have a match right now. Up down, Karen. He gets the ugly Miss Texas. Just yep. tell Dave to write she it down. She is not for... scheduled in here. It is. No, it's no, okay. Go ahead, leave. No, well, no, 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 no. That's past tense. It was Miss Texas and Sweet Georgia Brown. Now it's gonna be up down, Karen and Miss Texas. And right here, in front of the whole wide world, we're gonna finish up Miss Texas. So hey, get ready, lad. Bruno, you're nothing but a troublemaker, and I don't think that comes as any major surprise to anybody. Bruno climbed right up in the ring and uptown Karen dressed out, ready to wrestle, but it is sweet Georgia Brown saying, no, I'm the one, and Bruno leads her away to the side and pushes her along with Karen out on the floor. She's supposed to have the match in yeah. there. Bruno can come out here. And book now, his own sweet match. Georgia Brown is getting a temper fit, and she goes walking out. Referee Bill Rush says, "Let's do it," so we'll do it. All right, it's uptown Karen against Miss Texas. Downtown Bruno over in Karen's corner. <laughs> she comes. Ooh, Miss Texas comes in there with her right hand. Grabs up down Karen, backs into the rope, whips across the ring, up her arm, coming off of there, and Karen maybe having second thoughts about this match that Bruno signed her up for, this impromptu oh, match. Oh, Bruno would be calling for Sweet Georgia Brown to get back in. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, the Bruno hey, tripped hey, her hey, up. Hey, hey, Come on. He swiped, first time she came out, right after the bell, he took a swipe at her leg there. Now he grabs it and uptown Karen and Bruno, boy, you are really some kind of guy. Reaches up and slugs Miss Texas right upside the head. Karen takes it over the chokehold and referee Bill Rush trying to break it up. As Miss Texas, with the aid of downtown Bruno, the most female in the USWA right there is also the queen of the USWA the greatest athlete the greatest Miss female Texas, wrestler huh? Lance I'll tell you what I'll slap your toupee off I'm talking about Uptown Karen number one you goof yeah, well, Uptown I'm Karen who has to have all the help from downtown Bruno in order to get the upper hand I guess huh? absolutely no question you called it she was she was going nowhere but down until Bruno Stepped in, first thing he did was slap her right upside the head, rattle her head. Then he, he dunked her by grabbing her leg when the referee wasn't looking. And that's what gave Uptown Karen the impetus to take over here. And look at Bruno on the side. Come on, left. Uptown Karen being distracted, or distracted, referee Bill Rush while Bruno works on Miss Texas from outside. Again, interfering. Third time, a fourth time in the match, you have interfered. Why don't you back off and let him wrestle? All I can say is this. First of all, Dave Brown, why don't you make me? Second of all, you didn't see nothing, man. I tried to help that girl get back in the ring so Uptown and her could continue the match. She was oh. trying to sneak away, but you and... Oh, never mind. Are you, you're saying there's several hundred thousand, maybe a couple of million people who didn't see what you just did, huh? Yeah, speechless is downtown Bruno. Can we keep it that way? I doubt it. Karen still going after Miss Texas, but here comes the little package of dynamite out of Dallas, Texas. And brother, she gets going now. Karen whipped into the line. Took her down. Snap bear right over the shoulder. And look at Miss Texas up on that second rope. She climbed the ladder and dropped with the elbow. Uh, Bruno, Bruno can't stand it. That's a disqualification as Bruno jumped in a ring. He pulled off his boot and went after Miss Texas. Miss Texas was on her way to a pin and a probable three count on Uptown Karen. So now it's Bruno and Karen jumping on Miss Texas in the ring. This Bruno is something else. What do you think that proves? I can't have got the slightest idea. It doesn't really, oh, look at here. Sweet Georgia Brown. And she nails Karen. Uptown Karen puts down and here. They oh, pull the ball oh. into Bruno. I love it. <laughs> Bruno kicked out of the ring by Miss Texas. And Sweet Georgia Brown 
Now they've got Uptown Karen doubling up on her. She's kicked out of the ring by Miss Texas. What a oh, fight, man. Sweet <laughs> Georgia Brown and Miss Texas teaming together. Look out, they got Bruno, and they're running them out of here. They did it. <laughs> We got to get out of here for a second. We'll be back with more action coming up in just a minute. And don't go away. Romeo, Juliet, let's try it again. Again? Art thou bored? Yeah. Step into a Slim Jim. <laughs> you lose, Simon. Step into a Slim Jim. Have you had your break today? We all need to get away. There's one place that's on your way. McDonald's is your break today. Have you had your break today? Easy does it, McDonald's way. Taste the place of smiling face. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you had your break today? Yes, sir. Ready to go with it. Let's ring the bell, and that'll signify that we are ready. Uh, wait a minute. There we, <laughs> there we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have the bell working for a championship match, don't <laughs> you we? You better believe that. Here comes referee Bill Rush. We're getting an opportunity you rarely have a chance to see, and that's a unified world heavyweight title match. Well, you said it. You're getting an opportunity to see prime time at his best. Uh, you better be at your best. That's all I can tell you. He has a belt slung over his shoulder. That's not the unified title, but it is the USWA heavyweight title. And as title holder, it's been a long-standing tradition over the years, although there have been changes from time to time, that the USWA title holder, the number one contender, and gets a shot at the unified title. There's a unified belt in the right hand of the King, Jerry Lawler. Into the ring, coming in. Brian Lee coming in at... 286 wrestling out of Orlando, Florida, the challenger and the U.S. heavyweight champion, Brian Lee, and defending today at 234 from Memphis, Tennessee, the King Jerry Lawler, the unified heavyweight champion. Referee is Bill Rush. It is a one-fall television time limit, and in the corner and hopefully leaving is gorgeous Jimmy Harris, the head of security for primetime Brian Lee. So we're ready for it. This is the moment. Ring the bell, and here we go. Primetime Brian Lee. Get it out there. Seth is over in the King's corner. And the King and primetime set to go. A unified world title hangs in the balance. Oh, Jericho, they say. I think it's unanimous. I don't hear anybody yelling, go, Brian, go. But he is going as... He takes advantage of about a 50-pound weight advantage, drives Lawler in, and then misses with the right hand as he was going after the king, not in the approved manner, but in the way that he likes to do it. What is this, a little signal coming from Brian Lee to Jimmy Harris? He was signaling two up, two down. I don't know what that meant. I was just uh, looking at the king's face as he was back in the corner there. And, and noticing the different look that he has since the unified title is at stake here as opposed to just coming in for a match on television. He's always ready to wrestle, but man, he was really paying attention to everything that happened, including Jimmy Harris over there. Uh, King faked him out with the right. Brian Lee ducked down, and then Lawler pounded him with the left when he straightened back up. He thought he had pulled the smartest thing in the world. Get that camera out of my oh, face! I saw what was coming as primetime Brian Lee trying to add to 
his laurels, he already has the U.S. heavyweight title, going after the unified world title that Jerry Lawler just took back from Razor Ramon. And Jimmy Harris holding Lawler back in the corner, holding him by the sides while primetime Brian Lee let him have it. Well, the referee asked him about it, he denies that he was anywhere near the ring and that nothing like that occurred. He wasn't even in the studio. No shot. Nowhere near. The referee's saying, you're going to mess around and cost him his shot right here because we'll disqualify him. And now, all right, time. Seth Patel has come out here. Seth, uh, who is kind of the mascot of the USWA now, is out here cheering on Jerry Lawler in defense of his unified title. And what Brian Lee is trying to do is just switch things. Everybody is kind of focused on Harris because of that right there. And Brian Lee is saying, well, hey, I'm not happy that this young man is out here. Oh, come on, Brian. Once again, Lawler telling the referee that Jimmy Harris was holding on to the tight while Brian Lee pounded on Jerry. And of course, again, he denies it. The King, Brian Lee, collar and elbow. Lawler driven back into the corner again by the much larger Brian Lee. Whip! Nails him with a clothesline. Puts the King down. And a Ooh. foot right upside the head, baby. Yeah, he lifted him up off the mat as he was knocking him down with that big boot. Brian Lee is big and tough at 50 pounds. is a sizable weight difference in a match. Even for someone like the King to be giving away that much weight to an athlete like primetime Brian Lee is a distinct disadvantage. Look at that right fist. Time after time, Brian Lee hit the King with a fist. Referee Bill Rush is telling him about using the fist and on the rope, but of course he's stretching it right to the max to get away with... Whoa! Hello from the King. Hit him with a right, follows it up with four left hands and then a big right, and the challenger is on the deck. Waller on the middle rope. Down with the right hand, across the forehead. Is That's going to do it. Cover? Jimmy Harris jumps in the ring, and that is a disqualification. Lawler will retain the unified title, but he's got more troubles than that right now. As Jimmy Harris holds him up, he ducks out of the way. Brian Lee just hit his bodyguard. Oh, look out, Doug Gilbert. Here comes a whole bunch of folks jumping into the ring. All of them jumping on Lawler. Gorgeous George III, the Yellow Jacket, Doug Gilbert. Johnny Rotten. What are you doing with Seth? Leave him alone. This right here, this kid is the problem. You started all this. Oh, you the cause of all of this. You see that? You see that? I saw what. Right, he's got friends too. He got disqualified. I know that. Sid comes in. And Brickhouse, the gambler, the whole crew decide it's time to get out of here as Jerry Lawler in about five minutes time takes advantage of a disqualification on brian lee and is the winner can you believe the audacity of that guy to bring seth over here and for them to blame him for what happened when they're the ones that brought it on themselves we gotta take time out we still got some great tag matches standing by we'll be back in a moment <laughs> And we've had great action scheduled and in the ring here today. We got more coming up. We had the uh, unified title match uh, just a moment ago. Jerry Lawler still the champion due to disqualification on primetime Brian Lee as uh, Lawler had the upper hand at the moment anyway. And coming up in just a moment, we've got this man right here, Brian Christopher, and his partner, superstar Bill Dundee, scheduled to go in action against gorgeous George III and dangerous Doug Gilbert. Before we get that match underway, though, I want to get a word or two with Too Sexy Brian Christopher as he heads this way. I'm sure to talk about this match, maybe, but certainly about some action coming up in the next few days. Brian? A lot of action coming up in the next few days. Dave, 
and I'm real happy about it. I got a big smile on my face because you know why? Ask me why. Why? Because I got a chance to do what I just love, what I love more than anything in life. And that is winning championship belts. Now everybody knows, everybody knows that ever since I started wrestling, anybody that's kept up with my career, they know that I've been a champion. You remember, you recall when I used to come out here in this studio right here, and I had a little red wagon, didn't I? And I had that little red wagon just full of championship belts. I had the Texas heavyweight belt that I beat Tom Pritchard for. I had the USWA heavyweight belt that I beat Jeff Jarrett for. I had, what else did I have? I had the World heavy, Junior Heavyweight Championship belt, did I not? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. I had the USWA one half of the tag team belts, didn't I? Yes, you I did. had it all. And that's what I'm looking to do again. I want every single belt in sight. And I'm not going to stop until I do. Now, I gotta, we got a big tournament coming up, a big round-robin tournament. And I know I got a first round match against Doug Gilbert, but believe me, I've never lost a tournament in my life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breeze right through this tournament, even if I have to face Bill Dundee, because I know he's in it. And I know that Bill Dundee is my tag team partner right now. Not by choice, remember that. But he's my tag team partner. So if I have to get in there and have to beat the slop out of Bill Dundee, that's what I'll do because I want belts, but I'll leave just a little bit of him. I know you only start out with just a little bit of Bill Dundee, but I'll leave a little bit because then, right after I win that tournament, is when I step in there and we got ourselves a tag team battle royal elimination match. If one man is eliminated, the team is eliminated, right? That's exactly right. Myself, my tag team partner, Bill Dundee, Stepping in there against Brickhouse Brown, the gambler, and then the team of PG-13. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait because me and Bill Dundee are going to win them belts and put another set of belts around my waist where they all belong because I'm going to beat... Here he comes. Here comes your partner, Bill Dundee. Now, fans, these, these two are partners, but... Where's your walker, Bill? Did you leave that back there? <laughs> Where's your little red wagon? That goofy girlfriend of yours is probably riding around in it. Let me tell you something, brother. You ain't whooping me. And if you happen to get into that, that tag match has never taken place because I ain't being your partner, and I don't even like you. Hold on, Bill. Why has that tag match never taken place? What are you talking about? You know why? Because he may run around and call himself J.C. Ice, but his real name's Jamie Dundee, and I ain't do nothing to hurt the boy or his career or nothing else. So and I like him better than I like you, and I ain't being your pop. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me, Bill Dundee, that you're scared of your own son. Are you scared of your own son? No, I ain't scared of my own son. I ain't scared of nobody, and especially I ain't scared of you. I, I had a punch on the nose right now. I just I'll done tell you told what, you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Listen, listen. Listen to me. You follow me and it'll all work out fine. I can understand you don't want to beat up your own son. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll get in there and we'll beat the mess out of that little young punk, Wolfie D. How about that? Now that is a punk. I know your son is a punk, but that's an even bigger punk, Wolfie D. So we'll get in there and we'll beat the mess out of Wolfie D and get him out of there. Uh, here, here comes Wolfie D. There's Wolfie, here's J.C. Ice, too. Let me tell you something, sexy boy. You couldn't beat me up today, tomorrow, next week, or next year, for that matter. <laughs> Is that right, Wolfie? Well, listen, listen, punk. You're young. You don't have what it takes. See, they might have called me a punk in the past, but this punk is a winner. This punk never loses. And you understand me? If it takes beating you up, boy, if it takes beating you up, boy, that's what I'm going to do. And he's my partner for this match, and I want a championship belt, so that's what I'm going to get. Well, 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 anyway, you just calm down, Mr. Never Lose. Where's your wheelbarrow full of belts now, huh? Yeah. I guess you lost one or two. See, what you seem to forget is J.C. Ice and Wolfie D are partners, and we are the tag team champions. You have to defeat us to become the tag team. But you may not even be around when Brickhouse Brown and the Gambler get through with you, boy. It's as good as done, boy. It's as good as done. Look at you. 
Look at you. You can go swimming in a garden hose. You're so skinny. It's not going to take long, you understand? Right here, this is what you call a real man. I am a real man right here. You know what I'm saying? So, Wolfie D, J.C. Ice, you can come walking down there thinking that you're going to step out of the ring with your belts, but it's not going to happen. You're living in a fantasy world because I am taking your belts home with me. <laughs> what he's talking about is big body. So what? There's been a lot of big guys come and try to beat PG-13 up, and they've all failed. So you take that to the bank, sexy boy. All right, and I'm not... <laughs> Bill Dundee is still not too happy to be his partner either. But he's, he's going to be his partner right here today, it looks like, because Bill has climbed into the ring. Brian Christopher is over in the corner, and we, we do have a match coming up here. Yeah, you know that uh, three-team battle royal with the, with the champion to come out of it, I don't understand what PG-13's doing in it. They're the ones that have got something to lose. Exactly. It's their belt. Where yeah. are they going? Yeah. Well, nobody said that we're supposed to understand everything that these young guys do these days. All right, Bill Rush saying, this is going to be quite a scrap right here. Gorgeous George Three, Doug Gilbert going against Too Sexy Brian Christopher and superstar Bill Dundee. And there's a little preaching going on in the corner over there. These guys, yet to be decided, is the, uh, the uh, date, whatever it's going to take place. They have a challenge match with the WWF tag champions, Yokozuna and Owen Hart. And they have the potential of being the WWF tag champion. Which is why they're together as a tag team. That's what uh, Brian the only Christopher reason yeah. the That's what Brian Christopher was talking about. They they were not tag team partners by choice. They were tag team partners by being the last two men in a match which occurred some weeks ago. Here tag goes to Christopher. He comes in against Gorgeous George the third. I'll tell you. Brian Christopher, you know, oh, he grabbed a handful of gorgeous George III's hair and dumped him right down on his back. GG3 has impressed us with being some kind of a wrestler. The guy has great amateur credentials. I think he's a particular favorite of mine, but he can wrestle. He just got caught. In a switch as Brian took him over and down with the arm bar now. He's trying to work his way to the corner and get his partner Doug Gilbert in there after a tag. That didn't work, so he got over to the ropes, wrapped both feet around there to get a break, but he, wake, he gets up, and there's Bill Dundee waiting for him, and he went right to work on him. Oh, look out. Gorgeous George third backs Dundee back in the corner. Doug Gilbert's got him from outside. Gorgeous George with a right fist, hammering Dundee. Dundee staggers out of the corner, caught before he can get very far, and they're doubling up on him in the ring. Doug Gilbert rips that right hand in the midsection, lashes Dundee across the back, and Brian Christopher with a little concern on his face over there. Uh-oh. A reverse atomic knee, and down goes Dundee. As Christopher is standing there and saying, what are you doing to Dundee? Like he's doing it on purpose. Yeah, no doubt he was not doing it on purpose. Doug Gilbert just got him with that reversal. Now he's got his foot across his throat, choking him. Bill Rush, the referee, gets that stop, but damage was done before he did get it stopped. Now Dundee picked up by dangerous Doug Gilbert, backed into a corner, right fist to the midsection, to the chin, a chokehold. Doug Gilbert won't let up. Dundee reverses him into the corner, but Doug Gilbert moves out of the way. Dundee falls away from the corner. Doug Gilbert with a cover, count of two. Brian Christopher came in to stop that. So like him or not, they wrestle as a tag team. Brian Christopher saw his partner might be about to have the three count fall on him. Uh -oh. He jumped in there to help. That's Round his choke. throat. He's got that wrapping from his wrist around the throat. And the referee gets over there to break it up. Hang on, Brian Christopher. And boy, here's two guys that have no love for each other. Doug Gilbert and Brian. 
Brian's not calling anybody. He's doing a little revolving door on Gorgeous George the third and Doug. And Dundee jumps in as a tag partner to help him out while Christopher is pounding the stew out of Gorgeous George the third. Dundee driving an elbow down the back of the neck on Doug Gilbert. Leapfrog by Christopher, super kick, down goes the referee. There's the cover and Gilbert rips him on the head. The battle goes on, Dundee gets the cover. The referee's still down. Here comes JC Ice, one, two, three. What is he doing? He made, he the, made count. the count. Yeah, well, what can well, I tell you? Uh, what? Referee Bill Rush is saying no. Well, no contest. Well, there's certainly no count. I mean, the wrestler can't yeah, come in. Yeah, it was a contest, count. brother. I mean, they were going yeah, at it. Disqualification on Dundee and Christopher. Yeah because of J.C. Ice coming into the ring. Well, I'm not sure I agree oh, with that ruling either, but I don't think he asked us, but we can express our opinion about it. So, it came to a sudden halt. And, oh, I beat him last look. Uh, I thought he saw Twitter with it. Yeah, I saw your shoulders winner. pinned for a 20 count, too, and the uh, mm -hmm. referee had been able to count it. Let's take time out. We're going to be back with more. We got still a bunch of it. match coming up to run our time out here will be Brickhouse Brown the gambler going against PG-13 before they get to the ring want to get the uh, gambler over here along with Brickhouse these guys the former holders of the USWA tag championship belt you lost them and now the proof of the pudding is can you get them back that's the big thing well first of all I'm extremely happy today and you know well, when I'm good. happy I'm good to get along with, ain't that right? I certainly hope so. I'm not going to even call you old and decrepit today. Boy, you are feeling in a good yeah, mood Yeah, I'm feeling today. real good. You know why? Because when I first came back here to USWA, I didn't like nobody. You know, I had a chip on my shoulder. I know. I rolled in on a Friday, and on a Saturday, I'm the USWA Tag Team Champion. And now last Monday, the belts got stole from me, ripped off. And I don't like nothing being taken from me like that. But my man Gambler here, that's why I hooked up with him, because he's always got an ace in the hole. And he told me, hey, don't worry about it, Brick Star. I got an ace in the hole. And when my man tell me he got an ace in the hole, I have reason to be a very happy man. Mm. Well, let's hear about that ace in the hole, Gambler. Well, that's one thing you can bet on. The Gambler has an ace in the hole at all times. Now, you take PG-13, you got Brian Christopher and Bill Dundee. There's a lot of conflict right there. Yeah, right. So what me and Bricks are going to do, we're going to stand to the wayside. And we're going to let these guys go at it, and they're going to get rid of each other. And who is that going to leave? That's going to leave Brickhouse Brown and the Gambler as the tag team champion yeah. once again. You can bet on it. Well, that's the test of a real champ. If you lose it and get it back, that shows you got something going. We'll find out. Brickhouse, the Gambler, to the ring. And here's the guy that currently has the title, PG-13. Climbing into the ring, the boys from the hood, PG-13, J.C. Ice and Sir Wolfie D. Going against Brickhouse Brown and the Gambler. The tag titles are not on the line here today, but they will be in the coming days as that triple battle royal, three-team tag team battle royal will be coming up to decide who will be the USWA tag champions, but... No doubt about it right now, it's PG-13. Whoopie-D, starting out with a gambler. And this gambler has impressed us also. It's a pretty doggone good wrestler in there. Yes, Doug Gilbert, never missing a chance with an open mic. Lance Russell, who do I hear you out here calling a good wrestler? This match right here you're watching, I know you're not talking about Whoopie D or J.C. Ice, right? Well, I have said plenty of things about him. I happen to have been mentioning the gambler at that moment, Doug. I guess you was talking about a good wrestler if you was talking about him there. It is the gambler. Pretty good move. J.C. Ice and Whoopie D have never done anything but rode coattails. All they are is followers. They're not leaders, man. Trust me. Oh, well, 
by whatever it was it worked. Down goes the gambler. Wolfie snaps him over. Drops down with a right hand. The referee saying, open the fist up. Tag goes to JCI. See, last Russell, what I come out here for was I come out here last week. And I more than likely you wouldn't see Doug Yard again. But instead of giving you and Dave Brown and all of these idiots around here the satisfaction of me having y'all to think that y'all wanted something. Hey, look at Rick. I see he looks good, don't he? Larry? Dropped him with an elbow and put JC down. There's no way I'm leaving until I end Jerry Lawler, until I end Brian Christopher, until I end Bill Dundee. But, but, hey, hold on, I'm talking about okay. Russell. Okay. But the first two that I'm going to put out of commission will be... Whoopie D and J.C. Austin, Brian Christopher, then Jerry Lawler, then Bill D. Watch my man Brickhouse Brown last month. I'm watching Brickhouse. He's on a roll at the moment. Has J.C. down on the map. No doubt about it. PG-13 in trouble here. Brickhouse Brown grabs J.C. Ice, throws him over the top rope. Referee didn't see it. He had his back turned. J.C. tossed over the top rope, and Doug Gilbert picks him up. But as the referee is... Turning, Doug Gilbert backs away. J.C. Ice down on the floor here. We saw what you did. Lance the referee Brown. didn't. Hey, Brown, what am I doing? I'm standing here beside Lance Russell. Yeah, yeah. Now. I'm not going to deprive you of watching good athletes like Rick House Brown, the camera, because believe me, Lance Russell, they can get the job done. Well, a two count. He was close, but no cigar for the gambler. And J.C. Ice had taken quite a pounding in there. Look at that whip. He buried him in those turnbuckles. And J.C. being dropped right in the small of the back by the gambler. Chinlock reversed, and he's pulling up hard. Very, very determined effort. Hey! These guys held the title, the gambler and Brickhouse, and they're showing that they weren't any fly by the wolf. Yes, right in the face. Gambler put down on his back. JC takes Wolfie D, and here he comes. Here comes Wolfie D, leaps over the top rope, goes after both of them. Everybody in the ring, all four of them going. Look out, Doug Gilbert jumps up there. That's the disqualification right there. PG-13 is going to win it as Doug Gilbert goes after PG-13. Here comes Dundee with a broom. <laughs> and he sweeps them clean as Doug Gilbert, Brickhouse, Brown, and the gambler head out of the area. Now here, here's Brian Christopher. Brian. <laughs> Up there after they had run out, and, and here's Wolfie D. Boy, I don't know what in the world. I don't either. We've got to take a break, though. We'll be back here in just a moment as the discussion goes on. Whoa, look at this. Man, it is bristling with competition in the USWA, David. Well, let me tell you what that discussion was all about when we cut away from commercial. As, uh, Brian Christopher came running in here after Bill Dundee came in with a broom and, and helped out, and uh, PG-13 was very grateful to see him. All of a sudden, here comes Brian. He's out. He's, he's punching the air and all that sort of stuff. And, and PG-13 says, where were you? You were a little late <laughs> getting here. And just he says, what do you mean? I took off running just as soon as I saw something was going on. And they said, yeah, 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 forget it. So that's what that discussion was about that just lets you know kind of uh, the situation with this tag team battle royal coming up here uh, bill dundee and and brian christopher reluctant tag team partners at best and and, and uh, as bill dundee has said jc ice's real name is jamie dundee and and it, you got that whole he didn't situation. even want to be in the whole thing at all and then you got brickhouse brown and the gambler who won the belts uh, on tv uh, by a strange means a few weeks ago then lost them back to pg-13 and they say eh, we're just going to kind of sit back and see what happens with that situation and we're going to reclaim the uh, tag team titles ah not a bad strategy what they're going to try to do is get those other four guys involved <laughs> battling each other or the teams and so on, and then boom, step in and take it over and get those titles back again. Mm. Has the makings of an interesting week coming up in the USWA. You, huh? you better believe it. Every week is an interesting week. And uh, today, hey, I was impressed with the Gambler and Brickhouse. They had it going there pretty good for a while. Yeah. I, I just wasn't sure when they first came in there that they had enough experience together to be able to hang in there. 
And uh, looking at them today, I'll say they they were no accident. This this is a for real team. What do you say we run over right. the winners and losers here Let's today? Let's start with David. the opening match. Scott Studd looking good, defeating the Yellow yes. Jacket and uh, the opening match here today. Then in match uh, number two, it was <laughs> one of those interesting <laughs> situations. Easy. No, but we had Sweet Georgia Brown scheduled to go against Miss Texas. Bruno comes in here with Uptown Karen. Says, no, 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 I can't do it this way. Get out of here, Sweet Georgia Brown. Karen is going to wrestle Miss Texas. Well, she did. But <laughs> <laughs> for a little while. Yeah, then Bruno kept interfering and all that, and all of a sudden, here comes Sweet Georgia Brown, and we ended up with a pairing of Sweet Georgia Brown and Miss Texas, and they ran downtown Bruno and uptown Karen out, not out of the ring, out of the room here. They sent them straight out. It was an interesting sight to see. Yes, it was. We had a unified world heavyweight title match today. Think we don't bring you the top drawer stuff? You better believe it. Jerry the King Lawler, who just won the title back from Razor Ramon, defended it today right here on television against primetime Brian Lee. Then, then, we had Brian Christopher and Bill Dundee, the reluctant partners against gorgeous George Third and dangerous Doug Gilbert. They had the upper hand. All of a sudden, J.C. Ice comes in, makes the count. The referee was out of it, yeah. but but uh, it cost them the match. It cost Brian and Bill Dundee the match. They weren't happy about because that. Because J.C. jumped in there. We got to get out of here. Next week, we're looking for more of it. For Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station.